How do you respond to people when they challenge you with a question, why doesn't the Bible talk about dinosaurs? Today, I give you a few tips. Check it out right here, right now. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship, helping you go deeper in your faith and living it out in the world today. And living it out in the world today is about engaging with people. And one of the questions that uh, non-Christians love to ask, Christians and atheists as well, especially, why doesn't the Bible talk about dinosaurs? Um, and it can stump some people. Today I want to give you a couple of uh, hints and tips of how you challenge them back. First of all, that's it, is that push back. Uh, why do you ask that question? What have you read? Have you read the Bible? Have you seen there's not anything there? Um, I've done a video about what the Bible does say about dinosaurs. Check that out right here. So you can see what the Bible does exactly say about dinosaurs. Not very much uh, at all really. Uh, but they love to ask that question because the dinosaurs were before even the Bible was written. But what we got to understand is that the Bible is not a book about paleontology. It's It was is a book about something else. The Bible is an, uh, an all-encompassing book. It's not an encyclopedia. It doesn't need to cover all aspects. The Bible is about God's salvation of um, his plan to bring humans back to relationship with him. It's about redemption. It's about Jesus Christ. Jesus even says in Luke 24, um, 44 to 47, he said to them, this is as he is speaking to his disciples, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. So everything in the Old Testament is written about Jesus. Um, then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, thus it is written that the Christ himself should suffer on the third day and rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning with Jerusalem. So that's Jesus is stating exactly what the scriptures and he's referring to the Old Testament, the New Testament is about him and his life and um, the letters um, thereafter the Acts is about what happened to the early church and, and, and working things out and then we have revelation at the end. Everything about the Bible is about Jesus, about God's plan for our redemption. Um, and yeah, people can challenge you about dinosaurs but you can also mention to them, look it doesn't talk about the pyramids, it doesn't talk about the Great Wall of China which were around at the time because that's not in encompassing of what the story is about. Here's some examples. So here's a couple of books that I pulled off my shelf. This is uh, The Golden Man. Um, it's about the quest for El Dorado, the Spanish quest for El Dorado. Does it speak about uh, Northern America? Does it speak about Canada? Uh, no, because that's not in the scope. Does it speak about um, the discovery of China? No, because that's not what the book about is about. For someone to come up to me and say, why hasn't this got, book got China in? Would be a stupid question, and they know that would be a stupid question. This is a book about France, where I'm going on holiday this summer. Um, it will kind of mention uh, Spain, it will kind of mention Italy, and it will kind of mention Germany because they've got uh, borders, uh, but um, it will mention them in a kind of secondary way. This book is about France, not about Australia. If someone said, why hasn't this got book got something about Australia in? It's because it's not the scope of the book. The book doesn't need to speak about it. It's a book about France. This is a little encyclopedia. Uh, so I expect in this little encyclopedia, micropedia, about British history, that it will pretty much cover a lot of aspects of British history from the prehistoric up until modern day, until it was published, uh, covering a lot of major things. So my expectation is on this one, is not turning around, I won't mention any other countries, but uh, my expectation of this is covering a lot of the life, the politics, the, the development of Britain and its history. When people challenge you about what does the Bible say about dinosaurs? Well, the Bible isn't about dinosaurs. If it mentions them, it would mention them in context of what is happening in the story of God's salvation for the earth. People love to try to throw these curveballs and try to catch you out, and that's all they're doing. The biggest thing that you need to do is say, really, have you read the Bible? Where have you seen it? Why do you ask that question yourself? Because this is the important thing push back. They're only pushing on you and asking these questions to catch you out. So push back on them. What does the Bible say about dinosaurs? It doesn't say anything, really. Uh, 
a couple of references to maybe something, uh, but it's not important because the Bible is not about dinosaurs. It's not about the Great Pyramids. It's not about the Great Jewel of China. It's about God's redemption uh, plan, his salvation plan through Jesus Christ to bring us back into relationship. That's what the Bible's about. That's what you're telling them about. If they ask you what the book about dinosaurs is, <laughs> give them the gospel. Do you agree? What do you think? I totally agree with that. I, I, I think that's the only way. Uh, books, when they are written, are limited to the words that they have and what the, the, the point of the book is. The Bible is a specific book giving us that information of God's salvation. Push back on people. Uh, what do you think? What do you do when people ask you that question? Do you push back? Do you know what to answer? Do you get a bit flustered? I know a lot of uh, Christians do because uh, because they're, they're expecting the Bible to mention the dinosaurs. Put your um, comments below and start a discussion. Talk about what you do. Help other people when they get asked this question. Uh, like the video so more people see. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Bye.